The southern Anhui province of China is famous worldwide for its scenic beauty. At the foot of the Huangshan Mountain, there is a place surrounded by hills and girdled by water, where the birds are singing and the flowers are giving forth their fragrance. Here is Jing County, the very best place of the Chinese strand paper. On August 8, 2008, the whole world has witnessed a fascinating story told by the Chinese people on the opening ceremony of the Beijing Olympic Games. And the story is initiated by a sheet of gently unfolded shen paper. In August, the rice is ripe already in Jing County. It is a type of large store rice and is growing in the field, abundant in sands. Therefore, it is also called sandy lead rice. The harvesting season is always pleasurable. This is a typical farmyard in Jing County. The Chinese people like this extended family in which several generations live together. And in this way, they pursue their happiness and satisfaction in life. They also treat the harvest granted by the land with this attitude of ease and satisfaction. It is not a secret to convert rice straws into paper. While perhaps it is only the makers of shame paper who can point out the mystery of the romantic charm of Chinese painting and calligraphy, heightened by the shame paper made of sandy lead rice straws. Another secret of making the shame paper lies in this tree called Winceltis, which is common in Jing County. The bark fiber of the Winceltis has a high rank of standard owing to the unique geographical conditions here. This is the king of trees, planted as early as in the Ming Dynasty of China. This Winceltis has undergone 400 years of wind and wind, and is still displaying its glittery green and luxuriant prosperity. Here is a field of young Winceltis. Following the periodical duration, the locals lumber the trees once every three years. The bark from the Winceltis is the second main resource of the making of shen paper. Jing County is located in the hilly land. Here the rainfall is adequate and the water is clear, which is one of the important reasons of the development of the shen paper making. This is the drying yard of the resource of shen paper. In the Jing County, the drying yards like this cover an area of more than 1 million square meters. After being soaked, steamed, and boiled, the sandy land stores and Winceltis box are spread out and sawed on the hillsides. After being exposed to the sunlight and rain for half a year, they may complete the process of bleaching all by themselves. This way of bleaching is one of the longest periods and the most ancient ways of paper making, which endows the shen paper with more natural color and luster. And this is unique in the traditional way of making the shen paper. Working on the broad drying yard, 
The locals are enriching the color of the nature and appear to be holy and magnificent. After the process of nature bleaching, the shrimp paper starts its journey to transmutation, waiting to undergo a complicated series of trials and tests. Dredging up the paper is the first step of making shrimp paper. The thickness, uniformity and integration of the paper all depend on these dozens of actions, which look simple but turn out to be subtle. The shrimp paper is made in this pure handicraft from the first day of its appearance. This unique way of paper making is inherited among generations through oral instruction together with its primitiveness and wisdom. The whole process of 108 steps without in the verse of a sheet of soft white paper. This paper has contributed to the continuity and inheritance of the Chinese spirit for several thousand years. The shame paper's quality of leading ink and resisting ink with water makes the paintings and calligraphy turn out to be vivid and incisive. Hence, the artistry of paper making itself and the artistry of traditional Chinese painting and calligraphy are blended together and last all ages. According to the famous paintings of all ages by Zhang Yan Yuan of the Tang Dynasty, the Xuan paper has come into the cultural life of the Chinese people as early as in the 8th century. During more than a thousand years, generation after generation of Chinese people have kept on writing out this splendid oriental culture with their countless paintings and calligraphy, documents and classics. To practice painting and calligraphy on the shrimp paper has already become a way of life of the Chinese people, who are enjoying the achievement created by themselves and expressing their elegance and preeminence in their pursuit of happiness. On the Yellow Land, the Chinese people created the white shrimp paper with no wisdom. On the white shrimp paper, they are creating legends of themselves.